Hey Scorpio, it's your girl Alex. How you doing? I'm amazing. I'm here again to bring you messages from the universe. So, God Angels Universe, please bless Scorpio with whatever information they are needing at this time. Thank you so much. We love you so much. Thank you, God. All right. Scorpio, what do you need to know? How can I help? How can we help? Ooh, fell out. Money, honey, page of pentacles. It's an offer message. Ooh, ciao. Mm, ciao. Y'all see y'all coming out with the Hassan Cha, Queen of Swords. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Okay, right out the gate, I was waiting for more cards to drop. But right out the gate, I'm hearing, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. And that just basically says, listen, if it's not about my money, I'm not even, I'm not even giving you my time or energy, right? But also at the same time, I kind of feel like you have an offer, maybe a job offer coming your way. And for some of y'all, y'all going to suck your teeth. It's like, you say you're going to pay me what? <laughs> it's like, Earl, I think you need to go back to human resources and get a couple of more zeros. <laughs> oh. Ew. Ew. Y'all see how the bottom just falls out? Four pentacles. Okay. So that kind of makes sense to me. King of swords. Okay. So king of swords. Look at me pushing the devil around. Mm-hmm. So, you could be having serious conversations about money, time, you know, things that are of value. Seven plus three is 10. And the King of Swords is like, you know, kind of ultimate decision maker, ultimate uh, intelligence, like, it's almost like here's here's how we came to this conclusion, okay? Um, I'm also getting analysis, right? I got the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, but in between them is the Queen of Swords. Scorpio, I feel like some of you could come into some money. Um, some of you, especially who are... having issues with child support or um, custody, anything related to a child, um, I do kind of feel like a fair decision is about to be rendered. Anything else, angels? Yeah, this is, I don't know. I looked here, 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 and here, right? And I just heard that some of you try to avoid maybe financial situations related to a child because you don't want baby mama, baby daddy to go back in the past and get hurt all over the, it, hurt all over again, be spiteful, uh, you know, because they're still hurt and lock your funds up. This is a very specific reading for someone specifically. So it's almost like in the end, it's almost like, can we come to a fair agreement, right? I'm not just paying child support. You know, my child is not a check, in other words, right? I actually love my child. I want to spend more time with my child. Can we work something out that's fair, that doesn't have to do with yours and my relationship of the past i don't know this is somebody's reading you know you're welcome <laughs> okay all 
I do feel like with the Queen of Swords being in the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords to me kind of says, listen, let's just, let's just cut all the fat. Let's, let's cut all the bullshit. Let's just focus on what's important here. But somebody who you're dealing with, Scorpio, is hurt, is fucked up, and they don't want to focus on a fair outcome. They want to harp on, well, you hurt me, you did this, you know, you crashed my car and never repaired it, right? Now, by the way, that is a good reason to argue, but especially if you ain't never repair it. Okay. But um, it just kind of feels like somebody is wanting to be chased. They're wanting, it's, um, there it is, the upper hand. Some Somebody feels like in this situation, they have the upper hand. Angels just said too, and I, I, I'm going to give you all the messages I receive while we're recording, Scorpio. I also kind of feel like somebody, specifically an employer from your past, may resurface and they're so desperate and want you back, but they're going to try to flip that shit, making it seem like, oh, well, you still not working, so why don't you come back to this hellhole? It's like, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, King of Wands. Uh-oh. We got a lot of royalty in this reading. Two, two kings, two queens, and the devil. Hold up. Okay, now we talking. I like this. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. That kind of says to me, I hope a, a major arcana comes up soon because right now the only one we have is the devil yes scorpio somebody think you struggling there we go it would be big scorp <laughs> it would be scorpio coming out with the tower like angels just said that's going to be the truth being revealed four of wands mm-hmm there we go come on now here god that's my God card, the Emperor. Oh, fool. Two of Swords. Okay. Page of Pentacles. So we got an offer opening and an offer close. So Scorpio, you going to take this? <laughs> Scorpio, first off. Scorpio, first off. If there ever was a shitty offer, this is it. <laughs> okay. Um, but my angels just said... It's almost like somebody tries to present you with a shitty offer and then the real offer comes in. That's why you have page opening and page closing. Okay. So I kind of feel like, um, um, yeah, this is God making it right. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me get into it. Okay. So this could be a Leo or an earth sign and I don't see Taurus here but Capricorn and Virgo are here I'm just gonna throw Taurus in okay I feel like somebody wants to make you an offer it's a shitty offer you may be you may get pissed off about it or run dry detect bullshit from it and it kind of feels like whatever this offer is, it's supposed to be long-term. I think they're more so interested in having you on their team, right? It's almost like you're the Michael Jordan, the Serena, Venus, Williams. And it's almost like, hey, would you like to come and, you know, campaign for our, you know, orphanage, orphanages or... Um, you know, we have a, an adoption drive going on. We would love it if you came and was a part of, um, our, our campaign, right? But you're like this big name celebrity. You're an expert in your field. Okay. So it's almost like they need you to make their project, their company, their business legitimate. They need you to validate it. They need you to raise its 
um, potential, by your celebrity, by your expertise, by your uh, notoriety, if you will. This reading is taking a wonderful turn. I also kind of get that somebody's somebody's broken poor and sorry, but those are the words that came to me. Right? Five of Pentacles. Like here you are sitting on your throne. It's like, well, damn Scorpio, you ain't got no pentacles for me. I feel like right now a lot of you could be focused on work, a goal, some sort of accomplishment, right? It could be relatively new. It could have come up maybe within the past week, like, oh shit, I want to buy a house. You know what I mean? And is deep control here. Something was imbalanced. There was pain, hurt, betrayal, feeling stabbed in the back, stabbed in the heart. And this is the double block. So now somebody kind of wants to come in and reanalyze. Scorpio's like, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense, right? In other words, if this is not worth my time, I'm not giving you my time. I don't know. I don't know. This reading is all over the place. Okay, let's go back from the from the beginning. I have good pentacles here. Balance them out. Somebody wants your time. That's 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 clear here. Somebody wants your time, but I feel like the only reason why they want your time is to block you from seeing something. Seeing the truth from accepting a new offer. Okay. So back to that work scenario, they may want you a part of their cause for selfish reasons. That's why the devil is here. I got it. And if you agree to be a part of their cause, it's going to block you from an even better cause, an even better project, an even better opportunity. Okay. So I feel like... Um, Repeating myself, so we'll put a third row. Down. Okay. To summarize this, Scorpio, I kind of feel like somebody knows who you are. They know the they know your value. They know your worth. They know you're the shit. But right now, many of you may not, you know, you could be in between jobs, you could be resting, you can you may not have a lot going on. Okay, and this person may know that <laughs> and they may try to make you a bullshit offer thinking that because you don't have a lot going on that you're desperate, right? Or that you don't have a lot going on that you would re-entertain bullshit. Scorpio's like, wait a minute, hold up, bitch, I ain't sitting on a, a rug, I ain't sitting on the floor. I'm sitting on my goddamn cro uh, throne holding this pentacle. So somebody kind of feels like you're broken poor. And they're going to come in to offer you a pentacle. And it's like, bitch, don't you know who I am? Right? Okay. All right. Message received. But I feel like if you accept this offer, Scorpio, it's going to block you from a better opportunity coming in. Um, Angels just also said too, it's going to tie up and hose up your energy. It's going to, right? Because the emperor is power and control and the devil is bondage, right? So it kind of feels like you could go down a sticky, slippery slope and then wind up getting stuck, wind up trying to be Captain save a hole, <laughs> right? As in working on a cause or a project that catches your attention, that grabs, you know, that bonds you or holds you where you feel now 
because you have a lot of integrity, because you're an expert in your field, you're going to want to try to resolve it or figure it out. And the universe is like, baby, you weren't meant to be there in the first place. Um, my angels just also said to beware of conversations because I do kind of feel like somebody is trying to sneak information from you, right? So as an example, if you connect with somebody from your past, someone who you haven't talked to in a while, and they may just ask, so what kind of work are you doing today, Scorpio, right? Because they want to know, are you working? Are you, how much money are you making? Beware of people trying to sneak in um, to steal certain information from you to help out with their own cause. Yeah, don't be foolish. There we go. Uh, I don't like, I don't, I don't want to call this a test. I do kind of feel like um, it's an obstacle or a hurdle, right? I don't feel like it's universal. I just feel like you may have somebody with bullshit intentions trying to make you a bullshit offer to see if you would accept their bullshit. Sorry, it is what it is. All right, angels, what other, can you tell us more about this second or new offer? You got the two of swords twice, two block and a four here, two block and a four here. So it kind of feels like they're just going to, oh, you know, we got you, you have your own parking. We got your laptop ready to, yeah, they're going to make it seem like, you know, they'd love to have you. You'd be a great fit. You'd be perfect for the culture. The culture is fucked up. The culture is toxic as fuck. All right, moving on. Talk to us about this new offer. Yeah, the Three of Cups is going to be some sort of joyous reunion. Right? Joyous reunion. Angels just said to me, this could be a boss from your past that you loved to work for. That you love to work with. There's a conversation. Right? The Knight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So, Queen of Swords is very fucking focused. Okay, she is incredibly focused. Okay, and she's focused with the intent on figuring out when and how she can get you back or make this offer to you, this bullshit offer. And again, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, what sits in the middle of, in between them is the Queen of Swords, right? The Queen of Swords, to an extent, could be a blocker of your money. Paige is bringing you the Ace of Pentacles. Not through, not according to her. You leave it up to her? No, sir. We would cut that pen pentacle in half. <laughs> the Queen of Swords trying to fuck with your money, Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Somebody got you fucked up, Scorpio. <laughs> They got the wrong impression about you. There's, there he is again. And brrr, that is your cousin's Aries, who's also ruled by Mars. My angels just said they think they have all the power and control. Because again, they think you're down and out. But with the second emperor entering the table, my angels just said, you's about to flip the script and really show them power and control angels are even throwing in there dominance Ooh, child ace of wands that's an exciting new beginning oh wow this is an embedded message meaning it's not a message a part of the storyline but angels are like tucking it in the storyline they said for some of you Having a conversation with this person actually may spark an idea about a new money-making opportunity, right? So it's almost like instead of you saying, no, you know, ah, thank you for the offer, but I'm going to respectfully decline. You know, I was almost even thinking about traveling, maybe going down, um, maybe, you know, traveling cross country, you know, to see my aunt. And then boom, here comes a new idea. You know, yeah, you know, she's opening a nursery. Um, 
and I said I would kind of go out there and help her set it up and you may be like holy shit let me start working on startups just example I said it and he appeared the king of pentacles mm-hmm Scorpio you gonna wind up fuck, uh, bumping into a new business idea fucking with this old old ass crusty person giving you this bullshit opportunity opportunity yep bring on the wands eight wands that's information momentum action things falling into place naturally and organically come on universe uh, my angel <laughs> i heard usher caught up right my angel that's how it came through, through to me my angel says be careful not to get caught up in whatever this bullshit offer situation is hey mama so we got the emperor twice and the empress hey mama sita they're keeping they're trying to block block growth and you're gonna have to be strong enough to see their intentions below this offer Ooh, look at that look. i can't make this up you're gonna have to see the truth Okay, so we got one, we got two, twice, we got three, we don't have four, we don't have five, we have seven, ten, knight, queen, and king of swords. So, Scorpio, this could happen during Mercury retrograde. I think our next Mercury retrograde starts on August 4th to the 27th if I'm not mistaken. And for many of you who follow me for a while, a year plus, you know Mer August Mercury retrogrades are beastly, especially for me personally. Okay. Um, so I kind of feel like if this happens during a Mercury retrograde, Scorpio, you're going to have to work damn hard to sift and get through get through to the truth, get to the bottom of things, cut and clear away bullshit, page of cups. Some of y'all could be meeting people, but angels also said too, they could appeal to your emotions. Oh, we miss you. How you been? How your kids doing? Oh, did your son finally get his business start? Right. They're going to warm up to you and then try to you know, poke you in the butt. But angels are like, Scorpios are the true pokers. Ooh, I just heard Lady Gaga, my, my poker face, right? Poker face, Scorpio. Okay. Is someone trying to deceive you? Absolutely fucking yes, is what I heard. In those, in that order, by the, absolutely fucking yes. Um, They're trying to fast talk you. They're trying to turn bullshit into logic, you know, and maybe even after six months, you can, you know, we'll promote you to manager, right? Mm. <laughs> Scorpio. If the devil wasn't on the table and the seven of swords, right? The devil and the seven of, the seven of swords right next to each other, followed by the three of swords, four of pentacles, two of swords. They don't want you to see how they're going to, kindly and respectfully bend you over mm -hmm. <laughs> they gonna let you pick your own grief sorry that's a big graphic anyway um for those of you who know what that means um yeah scorpio uh i just i feel like their negative intent is just to get you back whatever that is i don't feel like you know, I feel like when they get you back, they're going to include that, oh, here's why being back would be good. And if you're back for a certain amount of time, hey, maybe you'll shift and grow and, and get more prosperity. Okay, that's first. The second thing is, so I don't, I don't, they know it's a bullshit off, offer in other words. I don't necessarily think this person doesn't like you or really wants to fuck you over. I don't think that. I just think that they're being so incredibly selfish 
self-centered, self-serving, that that comes across like they don't give a fuck about you because they're too interested in themselves. Okay? And I feel like for you personally, Scorpio, kings and queens of intuition and transformation, it's going to be up to you to flip the fucking script in true Plutonian, in a true Plutonian fashion and let these bitches know, thanks, but no thanks, I'm good. I'm just going to sit here on my throne and, you know, maybe I'll take my pinnacle out later for a nice summertime drive, right? You're going to have to re-remind, re-remind, that's not a word, this person of who you are. Listen, baby, my money, I got money working, my money is working for me, right? I have money making money for me. You see what I'm saying? But you don't need to let them know that because fuck them. They don't deserve to be privy to that information. But yeah, somebody thinks that you are down and out and depleted and they want to come to you with this bullshit offer and then dress it up like it's it's an opportunity. No, sir. No, ma'am. And angels just said, there's Taurus. I thought, I feel... <laughs> I feel like the culprit, this person who's going to make this offer, they're either going to be an earth or an air sign. They're either going to be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or Taurus, right? I feel like that strongly or they have those those um, placements somewhere in their chart. Or they're going to be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Uh -huh. Earth or air, earth or air. <laughs> my my angels just said Scorpio and you gonna have to sting them out of the air and bring their asses back to earth I can't I can't <laughs> I can't I can't and I don't feel sting in a negative mean way I feel sting in a very respectful and clear cut way like damn damn Barbara that that sounds like an amazing offer and I really, really, really appreciate it. But yeah, at this time, I'm going to have to decline. But thank you. I, I feel so grateful that you would consider me for it. Right? That's your way of saying fuck off <laughs> in a professional manner. Think it through. That is making sure you get to the bottom of it. Sifting away all of the bullshit. You know, finding clarity. Redefine print, Scorpio. Give yourself extra time to read the contract and fine print. No, you are loved. No. Be humble. That's that professional de uh, declination. No. Oh, thank you, Barbara. That's wonderful. And I think, my angels just brought this to me, I think the way you decline it determines when and how the next offer comes in, right? If you go apeshit, fuck you think I am, right? Or professionally, really with all my qualifications, I mean, I kind of feel like to an extent, I'm a little overqualified, especially for the salary you guys are offering. Again, <laughs> I've worked in corporate for a long time, so I know how to say fuck off and who the fuck you think you offer this. I know how to do all of that professionally, right? Last card. Speak your world into being, okay? So that, you know what that is. That's speak things into existence. Whatever you want to happen, let it happen, okay? Now, I would say to you, be careful about negatives. Oh, mm-mm, I don't, well, why can't they give me a better offer? Or, that's not what I mean by speaking negatives. As in, uh, ooh, I hope they don't come to me with that bullshit, right? Because that's just going to make them come to you more, right? So in other words, if it's a bullshit offer and you're adding a negative to that, you're just increasing the negative. Um, bullshit offer, oh, no, I don't want them. Boom, here they, look, they'll call you right after you finish this reading, okay? But if they offer you a bullshit and you're like, oh, man, that's amazing, but, you know, that's that's really cool, I'll hear them out and we'll go from there. Right. So in other words, you don't introduce more negativity to the already bullshit offer. At exact 
uh, in fact, you start to diminish it because your response was very neutral. I know more about energy today than I ever have in my whole life. And I'm, I'm even learning more and more and more about vibration, about... <sighs> My angel said, girl, there ain't nothing more you need to know. You already know about vibration. You can feel it. You can detect it. You can discern it. You can see it. You can alter it. You can contribute to it. You can abandon it, right? So it's almost like a vibration, you know, vibrational frequency. I'm learning more about that. And again, if somebody's coming to you with high amounts of negative frequency, you have to just be careful not to get sucked in or not to allow that negative vibration to affect your vibration in a negative fashion. That's what I was trying to say. All right, Scorpio, boo-boo. By the way, if you guys are interested in learning more about energy, not tarot, not spirituality, spirituality is an overlay to how energy works, to how, to how vibration works. A lot of people, you know, somebody put in a comment, and if you don't like this, the reading's over. If you like the reading, like, subscribe, you know, have a great day. But um, some people, somebody put in the, the comments about how I refer to God as my dude. My God is not the same as most people gods. My God is not a religious God. My God is not a person. My God is not, you know, some white dude sitting on a cloud. Okay, sorry, it is what it is. Um, my God is just energy, right? And I am my God. I am a portion of my God. So whoever the fuck I am <laughs> is who he created, baby. Okay. Not only that, but any sort of judgment or penalty, no man can tell me, no person, no human can tell me, oh, you're going to get in trouble with God. You can't tell me that. Trust me, as much as I carry on in this readings, God will be up there with his hand with his hand in his face talking about, we got to do something with you, <laughs> right? In other words, I get it directly from him. Mind your business. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. But if you're interested in, in practicing more of an energetic vibration approach, let me know in the comments because what I'll do is maybe create some sort of um, group session or something like that where um, we can learn and um, I can teach you know more about energy and vibration versus what you feel like you've learned already you know from commercial businesses trying to teach you energy and vibration how to teach you how to raise your vibration all right anyway I'm babbling I love you bye